Well, welcome back. A way to help us help you end your day on a high note is by ending a very day with our good news of the day. I think this yes, is good news. Absolutely. <laughs> and there's a lot happening in our world, but there's always something good happening too, especially here in Baltimore on Valentine's Day, like the work being done at Vino Wine Bar in Fells Point. Yeah, a popular spot. We're joined now by Joe Valeri, the co owner and chief wine officer of Vino. Joe, thank you for your time, especially on Valentine's Day. Oh, yes. Thank you for having me. It's great to be here. Well, tell us a little bit about your story and how you got started with this. Um, so, Vino Wine Bar, my wife and I bought it in 2018. It had started in 2010. Mm -hmm. um, I have a passion for wine. I used to be a tech entrepreneur and had decided that this is what I wanted to do. And so, my wife and I uh, bought the bar and started to feature yeah. really Italian wines in particular. Uh, we actually bought a place in Italy so we can hunt for wine wow. uh, in Europe. That's um, nice. And we spent, uh, we spent about half the year doing that. These two wines are actually wines that we found uh, at a small vineyard. And we in we, Italy. In Italy, okay. We look for we look for really small production wines, wines that don't get to the United States. Uh, surprisingly, 80% of wine made in Italy does not get out of Italy. Wow, I didn't know that. You, I would have never as thought that. As much as we have on the shelves here, believe it or not, most of it doesn't get out, and it's because they're really small production. These specialty winemakers who are really passionate, um, and they make some beautiful wines. And it's uh, we just don't get to see them. So That's our specialty is to go find them, uh, okay. not just in Italy, but really all over the world. But Europe is needles in a haystack in and a way. And exactly. That's and Joe, on a night like tonight, Valentine's night, people are going to be saying, "What should I pair with pasta? Or what should I pair with steak or seafood? What do you recommend in terms of what you offer?" You know, the general rule is white wines better with cheeses and fish, and red wines with with steak. But there's such a, a wide variety of red wines and white wines. So the ones I brought tonight from this vineyard called La Veneranda in Umbria. Uh, it's a region next to Tuscany in Italy. Uh, the one on the left, which is a white wine, is a very dry white wine. Let me okay. try that guy for you. Um, it's called Aurio. Um, Aurio. Aurio. Okay. Italian is I like hard. the way you say that, though. <laughs> but you buy a place over there and you pick it up quick, don't you? You have no choice but to speak <laughs> Italian when you're wow. there. Uh, but it is, um, it's a very dry white wine. Uh-huh. And it is perfect with cheese. Thank you. Perfect as an aperitivo. Okay. Um, and it's it's a really refreshing light wine that uh, we found at the vineyard. But my wife and I also love to drink like during the summer, sitting by the lake, just. And again, you said small out. vineyard, right? This is a very small wow. vineyard. Okay. Everything we do is small production. Usually fewer than 5,000 cases of wine a year. Wow. Um, the only place you're going to find these in the United States is at Vino Wine Bars. We have Fells Point and Nat Harbor. Okay. Um, and that's what we try to do. We really are trying to make wine approachable for everybody yeah. and to bring them wines that they've never seen before and can't get anywhere I like that. That's, oh, that's your great. niche. That's our niche. That's what we, that's what we and, specialize in. And that's in. how you guys separate yourselves from you know, some of the others in town. That's what's unique about Vino. There's a lot of great wine in, in, in right. Baltimore and a lot of great Let's wine Let's get places. to the other bottle that you have here. Okay. I'll do a quick taste of this. I think I'm allowed to. Okay. That's what they yes. say. Yes, please do. Okay. Uh, the second bottle, uh, called Ricardo Primo, which which is named after the winemaker's son, wow. is perfect for steak, perfect for pasta. In fact, okay. we call this the standard pizza wine. Right. And a pizza wine is just something you could drink every day. Right. And it's perfect with pasta, with red sauce, with red meat. Um, Things a little heavier. And it's, it's a little heavier, but it's for a red wine. It's very medium bodied. It's something that anybody can drink. It's not one of those big, bold red wines that okay. make it, you know, your face funny when you drink them. I think you sold people on the wine, on the yes. niche, and the smaller vineyards, which is such a great yes. backstory. The fact that you started as a tech entrepreneur and you said, you know what, I have a passion for wine. Let's run with this. How do people get to you? Tell them where they can find you yes. online and your brick and mortar. So online is v-no.com. Mm -hmm. You go from there, you can get to both of our wine bars. We have a wine bar in Fells Point right on the waterfront next to the Pendry and another in National Harbor on the water. Oh, there you go. Joe, thank you so much. Thanks we again. also want to wish you all a happy Valentine's Day. We hope you helped end your day on a high note.